What's up, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. And this is day six of rehearsals. We just got here, and Armenia was the first country to rehearse today, semi-final two. We had the first 15 countries of semi-final one rehearsed yesterday for the second time. Now the leftovers of semi-final one, um, they're wrapping it up today, and then we have five songs from semi-final two also rehearsing. And then in the afternoon, we're actually gonna have the big five and the host rehearse for the first time, but more on that later. Let's focus on Sevak from Armenia. Kami, Kami, a very quiet, a powerful, not quiet, not quiet is not the right word, but certainly a power ballad, if that's the best thing to describe. The first song actually to a full and fully in Armenian ever that Armenia has sent. I think that alone deserves a little bit like yeah, round of applause. And, um, but the question is, is it enough? Is it good enough? What do you think about it? I think you kind of like it, Chris. I really, really like it. I liked it ever since the national win. And I think that the staging is helping a lot for the song. And also his charisma. The way he... I think he comes across as very... As a strong Armenian bear that is like ready to rock the world of Eurovision and I love it. I mean his vocal uh, they're out of this world yes. I mean come on I would probably nominate him as the best male vocalist of this year oh, uh, yeah, it's competition though but I can he, he, see that he's he's that close in my book I think he, he has this like um, power forces of nature you would say mm -hmm. Amazing. It's, a, it's a gift, yeah, when you have that voice. Um, yes, I'm comparing it to the first to the second rehearsal, especially the very last run through. First of all, I could tell that they made some changes to the camera cuts because especially during the big, when, you know, the bridge part comes in, the big, woo, then at first I remember being like very, a lot of long shots on him where it was a powerful melody, but the cameras did not, uh, cuts didn't really reflect that. They fixed that later on, and I do like when they add the smog effect, uh, smoke effect, mm -hmm. not smog, smoke effect to um, the staging, then around those blocks that are around the stage, it makes it add some mysterious feel and vibe to it. He sings his heart out, and I don't think he gives it 100% yet because he stopped singing at some point, once or twice, but he is so good, and it's a tough semi, it's a strong ballad, but it just feels that kind of song that will get enough points that just to impress overall, and I just have a really good feeling about Armenia this year. Um, tell us, Sean, what do you think? Well, I have to say, it's, it's not my type of song. Yeah. Uh, it's not one of my favorites this year but it's a great performance, it really is. He is one of this year's best vocalists, male. I would have to say it'd be Albania's Eugene Bush Pepper. Uh, would those, they would there. battle it, kind of. Yeah, I think he, he just about edges it, but you know, Sevak is a very good performer. It's a very good performance. I like how mystical it feels on stage, uh, like the, the plinths, the yeah. circle of plinths he's got around him. And today we saw a, a bit of the fog effects, which I think really helps to add to the overall mystique. It's weird how this tiny little thing makes such a huge difference. Yeah, it's just a little thing, but it can really just, it fills the stage a little bit more and it just feels yeah. a lot more mystical. And I think it really worked in this in this case, especially with the wind machine and everything like that. Um, he does have a brilliant vocal. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's a very good performance from Armenia and they've, they've done just enough to really capture the drama in this song. Yeah. So you don't think there's anything that they should have done differently at this point? There's not really much more that you could do with this to stage yeah. it effectively. It doesn't have dances or fireworks or anything like that. So I think I'm, I, could, I could be pretty they confident and happy, okay. with this, happy yeah. with this. Yeah. Well, the only question that is left right now is listen to your gut right here, right now. I'll give you two seconds. One, two. <laughs> is um, Armenia going to qualify? This is only as of right now. Our first gut feeling after this particular rehearsal, things may change. I'm going to start with you, Sean. Is Armenia going to qualify? I'm going to completely contradict what I've just said and say no. Unfortunately. Really? It's just because of competition. Simply because there are only 10 songs that can qualify. And I just don't think that with the, the competition we have here. I, I, I know I say this in pretty much every video, but we have to remember there are only 10 countries and this is such a strong semi-final. Yes, and 19 participants. I feel really bad because this is the first time they've sent something in Armenian. I don't want them to be discouraged if they do fail. I don't want them to think, oh, Armenian doesn't work, because right. it will. Yeah. And any other year this would qualify, but I just feel like it's it, it, 11th, 12th maybe, mm -hmm. might just miss out. The juries will love it. I'm just not sure if the televoters will connect to it in, in such a way. Okay. So uh, I'm going to switch it up and spice it up a little here and I'm going to say yes. I do think that Armenia is going to qualify. I do think that um, it will have a jury appeal. I do think it has a natural little head start anyway in this semi. And it will also do well with the televoters. I just see it 
it just feels it feels it's just enough it's not going to win this uh, semi but i think it will squeeze through i just have this feeling so my answer is yes so chris no pressure but you're the tiebreaker is armenia going to qualify tick tock yes uh i think armenia will qualify also because usually they do they do qualify and i would say they qualified with songs that were less charismatic they qualified with with vocals that were not as impressive as from from him uh, so they have to be there I, I couldn't see a final without him I mean, in it yeah. all yeah. right well there you have it right now two to one yes for qualification that's our ES United prediction as of right now our official prediction will come we just got to go back in and uh, the next rehearsal is just about to kick off and that is going to be Switzerland but in the meantime make sure you leave your thoughts below do you think Armin is going to qualify there's a comment section below leave your thoughts and uh, we'll be back soon see ya